Hello and welcome everybody One Empire here. Today I'm going to be making a video inspired by my last video where I was able to talk about this lock and, and pick it open. Basically the first lock I've ever been able to open that way. So I got kind of inspired. Also watching Bosnian Bill's YouTube channel is his lock lab. Check it out if you like videos about locks and whatnot. This is 131D is the model serial number or model number of this lock level 3 protection we're going to see how that how that fares against a very novice lock picker that being myself me so there it is uh, let's lock it real quick so here we have pretty small lock looks like it might be aluminum body supposedly hardened shackle master logo and chrome chrome's already starting to come off and the key, we come with two keys, plastic around the outside, and pretty short, pretty short key. And uh, if we can get it to focus, oh, it's trying, it's trying. I don't know, there, okay, time to upgrade in cameras. So how many is that, four, five pins? Moving on. It does open. Got a little brass in the middle there for the, the cylinder. Check out this awesome, I don't even know if I should try this with how well this focus has been working out for me. Machining. Lovely, lovely. Very, very precise, very precision. It looks like a nine-year-old took, took a hand file to that or something. No offense to nine-year-olds, but just trying to make a point. Here we have what looks to be like a shear line, almost. So you could probably like hit this with a hammer, maybe. That's what it looks like to me. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. So let's go ahead and get into the picking. Like I said, I'm not I'm not anywhere near experienced. I basically don't even really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to demonstrate this lock and its ability to thwart off attackers if you will, lock hackers. So got my little tension wrench made out of a pen clip. Not the best, this thing actually sucks pretty bad and gets in the way of me picking, but what you gonna do? Let's try and, uh, let's try and zip this baby. This is my hook, little hook made out of a, a bobby pin. So we're gonna try and zip this baby. Just gonna go in and just try and get it to open that way. So zip it, zip it, zip it. I'm oh, getting caught up on something. What the heck? There we go. Nope, that was just the tension wrench moving because it sucks. So, I'm sure if I had a real not crappy tension wrench, this would, this would probably be going a lot better for me. But we're going to go with it anyway. Ah, there we go. Apparently I just needed to adjust that thing. So you saw a zipped open. See if I can repeat it, because that was kind of weird and it might have been only partially set with the way that the, the tension wrench was before. So this one takes a decent amount of tension to get it going. It's so small, it's kind of hard to hold in the hand. So hopefully we can get a good zip on it. I'll try and get a good angle for you. All right, baby, so two, you know. So not too hard, you know, better conditions could be replicated faster, I would imagine. So let's try something else. Let's go to, we'll stay top of Keyway since that seemed to be working okay for us. And try my little wave, wavy tool, little worm, I don't know what you want to call it. Another, another hairpin tool. Let's go mountain to the top like this and just kind of get in there and oh, there we go how about that not too bad not too bad I see this level three security maybe that means does that mean I'm like a level three lock picker I don't know let me know what you think let's see if I can do that one more time yep okay I'm sure I could keep doing that over and over again but I won't bore you guys um, let's try, um, here, let's, let's get a little more complicated. 
I'm not going to do single pin picking because I'm not that good yet, but I'm trying to think of different ways that people have got into this thing. Um, let's try bitch picking. Bitch picking is um, what they call when you just kind of randomly go in and pick at the pins here. I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, which is pretty true. So I'm just going to randomly pick at the pins and hope it comes open. You know? I don't know if it'll work or not. But I can tell you there's no security pins in this thing. I have another lock that'll maybe show up in another video someday. It's definitely more than a level 3 by master standards. Okay, I reset it by the way. I'm just kind of getting in there. Not too aggressively. I felt a click. I may have overset these pins. Alright, that's too long. Reset. One more try. We'll give them three tries. <coughs> Excuse me. Three tries. To, to defeat it. And I don't know if we're going to do this one. Just for the record, off camera, I have been able to do this rather quickly. But there's something about this different angle. The stress is just making me perform poorly. I don't I don't know. Stage fright? Okay, we're giving up on that. So as I'm doing this, even though I said I gave up, I'll I'll conclude this video. Master lock level three. So oh, there we go. Okay, um so we've we've successfully opened it using all the methods that we tried just the real basic like no skill required type methods or at least minimal skill um, we we were able to rake it open with a tool made out of a pencil and a freaking hair clip hairpin our little rake tool we we're able to zip it open with another bobby pin tool, this J hook, and we're able to bitch pick it with this same thing, just randomly picking at it. So this lock, for somebody that basically doesn't know how to lock pick, me, was was really not much of an issue. Nothing took more than like a minute to to do. So I don't know, maybe I should try and take this thing back, get my money back, I'm done with it. Don't buy this please unless you're trying to like look like you have security or you want to practice your lock picking skills and if you do always keep it you know lawful and legal thanks for checking out my channel like and subscribe and take it easy